Hey, so in this example, we're going to be talking about solving and graphing one step inequalities. So before moving on to this video, please watch the previous video where we did an introduction on writing and graphing inequalities. All right, so in this example, this is very similar to solving an equation. In fact, you're going to go through your same steps as you would solving an equation, right? So we have an inequality here. We're simply just going to treat that like an equal sign. So if this was an equation, how would we solve? Well, we would simply minus one on both sides. And that's exactly what we're going to do here with the inequality, right? So it's very similar to an equation. So we're going to minus one on both sides of the inequality, just like you would if it were an equal sign, okay? When we do that, we're gonna get the following. Okay, so this will cancel and we get X, bring down our inequality greater than or equal to, this will give us four. Okay, so there's our solved inequality, and we want to make sure that we're in the correct format, meaning we have our variable, inequality, and a number. And again, we are, and again, we like to write it like that for graphing purposes. Okay, so make sure we're in this format, we are, so we can go ahead and graph now. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're just going to make a quick number line. This will be zero, this will be four. Now I'm going to go to four and I'm going to make a closed circle. I'm going to make a closed circle because it's equal to, meaning I'm on four and four is part of my solution. Again, we talked about this in the previous video. So I go to four, make a closed circle, okay? And then again, this says x greater than or equal to four, or in other words, all real numbers greater than or equal to four. So all real numbers greater than or equal to four that's going to be all these numbers to the right of the number line going to positive infinity. So I'm going to shade to the right side, just like that. You can draw an arrow, that's fine. Again, you could use the pointer method here. If you look, we have a little pointer telling us right to go to the right. So you can always use that to shade. Again, it's telling us to go to the right, so we go to the right. All right, let's do another example. So that is solved and graphed. Let's say we have the following. We have seven, and we'll just have greater than x plus two, okay? So again, we're gonna solve this just like we would an equation. So we're gonna minus two on both sides. So minus two on both sides. All right, the twos will cancel. So we get two and a negative two, that cancels. All right, this will give us five bring down our inequality, bring down our variable. Now, in this case, right, we are not in the right format, meaning we want the variable, inequality, and the number. We can see here that we have the number, inequality, and variable. And we talked about why we want to do this in the last video. And again, this is for graphing purposes. We always want to have it with the variable, inequality, and the number. So we have to rewrite this. And to do that, we simply just write the variable. So we write x. And then we look at our inequality. All right, so if you want to call it the Pac-Man or the alligator, what is it eating? Well, it's eating the five, right? So when you rewrite it, stay consistent. Make sure that it's still eating the five. Okay, so here is your inequality in the correct format. Now, again, we talked about this. These are both the same mathematically, all right, but this one makes more logical sense, right? Again, this says all real numbers less than five. Whereas this one says five is greater than all real numbers, all right? So again, we do this for graphing purposes. This one's much more logical and easier to graph. All right, and we'll talk about that when we graph it right now. So if we put this on a number line, let's see what happens. So here is zero. Okay, we'll say that this is five. Now I'm gonna to go to five and I'm gonna make a open circle because it's not equal to, meaning five is not part of our solution, but we're going right up to it. So I make an open circle. Again, we talked about this in the previous video. And then I need a shade. So again, you can use the pointer method here. The pointer is telling you to go to the left. Again, this says all real numbers less than five. So all real numbers less than five, that's gonna to be to the left going to negative infinity. All right, now here's the issue. If you did not rewrite it and you left it like this, and you try to use the pointer method, well, look what happens. This is telling you to go to the right, but you would have got it wrong, right? So you always want to go ahead and rewrite it. Again, it's going to make graphing easier, and you're going to be able to use the pointer method when it's written correctly, okay? 
So just keep that in mind. All right, let's do one more example here, and that'll be it. So let's talk about when we have a negative. So we'll have negative 2x greater than or equal to 4. So again, in order to solve this, we're going to have to divide both sides by negative 2. Now, here's the deal when you're solving inequalities. If you divide or multiply by a negative, so again, if you divide or multiply by a negative, so divide or multiply by a negative, you have to flip the inequality. Okay, so the inequality needs to flip. And in this case, I did divide by a negative, right? I divided by a negative 2. So we need to flip the inequality. So let's see what happens here. This will cancel. I get x. I need to flip the inequality, so now it's going the other direction. And then 4 divided by a negative 2 is going to be negative 2. All right, so just be careful of that step. That's really the only difference here. Um, as opposed to solving an actual equation, all right? If you divide or multiply by a negative, you have to flip the inequality. All right, so let's go ahead and graph this now. So putting it on a number line, here is zero, here is negative two. Now, it's equal to, so I make a closed circle here, right? Because negative two will be part of my solution. And again, you can use the pointer method. It's telling you to go to the left, you can also read this as all real numbers, less than or equal to negative 2. And again, going to the left to negative infinity, that's going to be all real numbers, less than or equal to negative 2. All right, and that is it. So that is solving and graphing one-step inequalities.